In uh, space science, I imagine that we'll be able to continue to build robots uh, that can explore the planets. Um, we already have a Mars rover up there looking for signs of life in the rocks over there. Uh, much more powerful equipment can be sent. Uh, eventually, uh, human beings can go if they really want to. Uh, that's a much harder, more difficult thing than doing scientific exploration with a small robot. Because uh, we like to come back. We don't just want to go one way. Um, we will be able to send our robots to the uh, outer solar system. There are uh, several places where life could be occurring already on uh, moons of Jupiter, even possibly on one, of the, one or more of the moons of Saturn, uh, where it's warm enough and wet enough in certain places. So uh, we can begin to learn something of the origins of life. And that, to me, is one of the, the key questions for philosophy and, uh, and for understanding our place in the universe. Are we the only ones here? Uh, well, probably not. Uh, that's my opinion. Uh, are we ever going to talk to the other ones? Probably not either. <laughs> the universe is too large and they're too far away, as far as we can guess. So um, it says, okay, uh, now that we sort of know that, let's take care of the place that we live. Uh, the Earth is our home, will be our home for a long time. At least a billion years is in front of us before the sun becomes too hot and, it, and we couldn't possibly live here. So we got a billion years in front of us. We've only been going for a short time. So let's see what we can do with that. I think there's probably no limit to how far you could get. We could even, according to some people, create artificial life uh, using silicon or some other robust material that can travel through interstellar space and maybe go visit another planet around another star. It's possible, I think.